what's up beautiful people welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a braid and curly ends so i went ahead and divided the extension into two parts one part being three quarter and the other part being one quarter then i crossed it as you can see i grabbed the extensions with my hand and after parting the hair i'm crossing the extension into her natural hair and my thumb and my first finger is doing most of the work as you can see yeah i'm just crossing it into each other making sure that her natural hair is tucked into the braids that way um, it, they shouldn't be fly away and it will help the braids to last longer and then when i grab the roots i try to braid the roots about four times so that the the roots can be firm and make the braids last longer and i'm just going ahead with my my thumb and my first finger and the third finger just crossing it across it's difficult for me to explain this because I actually learned braiding myself so I wouldn't really know the terms to use but I'm just using mostly my thumb to send and then I try to measure with the other heads I already did to see the length at which I'll end the, the braids because I'll be curling the under so I came this way to demonstrate how I do the parting of the hair I'm doing the medium parting not the very micro parting i'm just doing the medium parting and i'll apply gel i apply gel to the edges because the gel helps to reduce the tension between the extension and the hair so i just apply gel to make it a little bit tacky and then it also helps to lessen the pain like when you apply gel the hair is uh doesn't get so sore like compared to when you don't apply it especially at the edges the edges of our hair are so sensitive so i went ahead and just um took the the estimated extension and divided into three quarter and one quarter i crossed it and now i'm just going to grip the roots of the hair after parting it i use my first finger and I divide her hair into two then I start crossing the hair into the extension like so I'm crossing I'll do that for about three to four times before I start braiding upwards I'm done with the front part and like I said I applied gel at the edges of her hair so I'm just going to be applying this gel all over the back of her hair to reduce the tension between the extension and her hair and it also helps the edges look neater there's so many oh um, there's so many good gels you can use there's you can use eco styler gel can use shine and jam but for today i'm using the ultra stronghold so after parting the hair i go ahead and crisscross the extension like i did before and just grip it i've parted my fingers into the extension and i've divided the hair into two and i'm just crisscrossing crossing it if you're learning something from this video please go ahead and hit the like button also much appreciate thank you guys so i'm crossing it and breathing and going downwards i went ahead and did the rest of the hair off camera and this is the last piece of hair and after taking my extension and crossing it i'll just be crisscrossing the extension into the hair once again and as usual making sure that the, I tuck the hair into the extension so that the hair shouldn't pop out that way the, the extensions can last longer and then when I get to the end I'll be securing it with just a tiny bit of the hair while making sure that 
the braids end where the other braids have ended so I'm going to go ahead and curl the hair now and I'll be using the flexible curlers this curlers are very affordable and um, this is just one way to curl the tips of your hair there are many other ways if you have if you know any other way we can curl our hairs please I would like to comment on the comment section below so I'm just rubbing the tips of the hair where the braids end around the rollers and it's important to note that you don't have to put too many pieces at the same time if you put too many pieces at the same time your curls will not be defined that way it's just good to take two or three hair strands into a roller if you don't have too many rollers I came up with this style of rolling on the same roller it saves time and it also uh, economizes the rollers so instead of just rolling three strands on one roller I did six but I did it at different intervals like I rolled three first and then on the other end of the roller I rolled another three you can do three or four the others where I did um, three or four that is three that's nine strands and for that 12 strands but differently so i'll just go ahead and wrap the hair on the rollers then set it in hot water after putting the tips in hot water the water should be hot very hot like the water should be boiled water after putting the tips in boiled water I'm trying to take out the rulers and I'm just making sure that I don't I don't make the tips rough because if you just take it out anyhow it's going to come out looking very rough so I I I look for the tip and I take it out that's just how you do it like I just identify that one I'm taking it out and before taking it out, I actually used a blow dryer. I just dried it up a little bit to reduce excess water. That's what I did. Gosh, this particular one was stressing me out because I didn't find the start I trimmed up the excess hair and now I'm just using most to keep all the flyaways in place and just smoothing everything out this mousse is very nice like it keeps everything in place and it really makes the hair look neat so I'm just applying and applying I'm being careful not to pull her hair too hard because she just did her hair and it hurts so this is the finished product of today and I'm just going to use the Friday edge control so just slightly she, she doesn't have much of edges but just for the sake of it we're just going to like just do something small just need I'm just using the edge control to brush out her edges And I'm using the scissors to take um, some flyaways. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know what you think. Let me know how I can improve. Thank you. Subscribe.